and do a substitution let u be equal to 5x minus 2 so we can write u, y in terms of u and u is in terms of x so this is where we get the idea that we've got a function as a function of a function so where we get the function of a function rule as this one's called so what we're going to do is we want to differentiate y with respect to x so we want to differentiate this function but to do that we need to differentiate y uh, u with with respect uh, y with respect to u so differentiate this function and then differentiate u with respect to x and that's what we call the chain rule so you can see that these will cancel out so we get the dy on dx but because we can we're looking at that we can put our differentiation in that those terms so if y is u to the power of 10 differentiate that becomes 10 u to the power of 9 so that's pretty simple and then derivative of u would be 5x minus, u is 5x minus 2, so the derivative of that would be 5, so du dx is equal to 5. So if we put those together, we can say that that's two, 10 times u to the power of 9 times 5. So, and then u is equal to 5x minus 2, so that's where you get the 5x minus 2 to the power of 9, and the 5 multiplies by the 10 gives us 50, and there's our derivative. We call this the function of the function rule or the chain rule. So we can see what we see how we can use and put one function in terms of the other. Now we don't always have to do that differentiation, but we get the idea. So what we're looking at here when we do this, when we've got a function to a power there, what we need to do is bring our power down as normal. So if you check this out, bring this down as normal. So we have the four times the four. We subtract one from the power. Our bracket stays the same because that's our u that we saw before. So that stays the same. And then we multiply it by the derivative of whatever we had inside the bracket. So d dx of 3x plus 2 becomes 3. Because that differentiates to 3. And then 16 times 3 gives us 48. This one, we've got y is equal to 7 outside of 6x minus 8. So again, bring your power down. Multiply by the number in front. We get the 1 from the power bracket stays the same, derive the bracket, gives you the 6, clean up and multiply your numbers. y is equal to 2x, 2 outside of 5x, 5 minus 3x to the power of 3. Again, bring your 3 down, multiply it by the 2, subtract 1 from the power, multiply by the derivative of 5x, 5 minus 3x gives you minus 3, and then minus 3 times 3 times 2 gives us minus 18. And then the 3 outside of x plus 4 to the power of 5, bring your 5 down, multiply by the 3, subtract 1 from the power, derivative of x plus 4 is 1, so we multiply by that, and we get our expression there. So hopefully we're getting the idea. Our bracket, we, we treat our bracket like it was a, just a variable, bring our, ver bring our power down, subtract 1 from the power, bracket stays the same but then we multiply by the derivative of the bracket and that's what we call the function of function or the chain rule.